Got to diagnose this vehicle and this Tacoma 2019 and 18 model. Anytime you turn the AC on, it stays on for a while, then it goes off. So now I'll check the fault code why it's behaving that way. And you can see the trouble code is related to compressor lock circuit system. So this compressor lock is having an issue. That means the compressor lock is a system which determines the speed of the compressor on top of the compressor itself. So it determines the speed of the compressor so that the vehicle can compare the speed of the compressor and the engine together. And it will disconnect the crotch whenever the speed is not okay. So I was called to diagnose it. So after opening my identifix, you can see the compressor lock. So I'll trace on the pin 2. Of the compressor lock when you go to the H1180 spin one, so I'll trace it at the back of the control uh, at the back of the amplifier, which is the AC amplifier, and see the signal that I'm getting from the control unit if that signal is okay. So that's pin 33. Hey, sorry, that's pin four which is the green line that's pin 4 so i'll check that one and compare it pin 4 and ground which is pin 12 so I'll, I'll check those ones and see how this compressor unit like the signal that the compressor uh, lock sensor is sending to the control unit so you can see lock sensor so on pin 4 and pin 5 uh, Identific uh, the service manual showed me a post generation waveform. So I will use my scope to identify if the waveform are the same. So that means I have to check the signal from the AC lock sensor or which is called the compressor lock sensor. So I will, I will do that and check the signal from it. So now I will connect to pin 4 and pin 12. So you can see at the back of the AC amplifier I've connected to pin 4 and pin 12 so I will see the signal that my waveform will generate if it is the same as the one that the service manual was showing so I'll switch the AC on and it seems I'm not getting any signal but now I'm getting the signal now so now you can see the AC is on and anytime the AC is on you see the signal I'm getting and this signal is different from the one that the service manual was showing me so when you compare the signal together you see that it's two different signal because with the one that my service manual is showing me is different from the one that I'm getting on the scope that's why the AC is able to run for a while then goes up so after setting the perimeter which is 200 millivolts a per division and 10 milliseconds you can see now there is no signal by now I think the AC is off but normally you can see that the signal is different so I'll switch my blower to high speed so that the compressor will kick in continuously so that we compare both signal from the scope and the signal from the compressor and see so that means you see that the compressor sensor or the lock sensor is not sending good signal to the compressor and the moment the amplifier sees the there's bad signal you just cut the compressor off so you can see my connection i've joined the wires to the sensor itself to make sure that it's not a connection issue so now you can see the signal this signal is different from the one on my service manual although the ac is running when you compare this signal to the one that my service manual is showing me that it should run it means this signal is way really different so it could be that is the fault from the sensor itself because the sensor is not providing the right signal to the amplifier and you can see the connection also that i've done now the compressor is locked that's why i'm able to see the signal from the lock sensor 
so you can see that my signal is different so i'll speak to the client if he can change the sensor itself then he, he changes it and see if the problem will be fixed thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos